Hey, Tulare County, this is Amy, and I'm doing a quick video on what happened today at uh, Tulare County Council. Um, I, unfortunately, I wasn't there. We had a series of things going on this morning, and I wanted to be there, but I'm kind of glad that I wasn't because I blathered on for more than three hours talking about whether or not we should support SB 54. Short answer. I'm going to get right to the point because this is so awesome. Thank God out of our five supervisors, three of them voted to not support SB 54, which means Tulare County has taken a stand publicly that they are going to defend and support the law enforcement for the citizenry of their county. Um, what I will say, and I'm very disappointed, that my particular uh, supervisor, Amy Shucklian, has voted for it. She was the one vote to support SB 54. What are you doing, Amy? Oh, oh my gosh. Where's your brain? It's like, ugh, you can't support SB 54 MB in this county. I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Because we either have a rule of law or we don't. And this county is the big ag center and we either have have support for our law enforcement and support for our rules that, that we need to have here, or we don't. Because who are you really supporting? Because I'm your voter. Me. I'm your constituent. Not them. They're not allowed to vote. I am. So what are you thinking? You want to keep your job or not? Because I'm going to tell you right to your face. You do that again, you're out. I'm not going to play. This is your one strike that I'm going to give you. Because I, I, and it makes my stomach turn that you even voted for it. And Steve Worley didn't show up today. Wherever he was at, he wasn't there. So he was the one non-vote, and there was three that supported it. So thank you for the other three who supported law enforcement today and took a stand against SB 54. We're letting uh, Cal Sacramento know that we're not playing. And this is, you know, New California. You can't save this freaking state when you have people like Amy Shucklian that are sitting there are surrounded by people who are speaking out for supporting law enforcement and the rule of law and still votes against it. <sighs> yeah, you can't save stupid. And I'm really, really, really dissatisfied with that today. Anyway, uh, but what we can't save stupid, but we can remove stupid. And we can do that by creating New California. Where we don't have to have a vote like this today. Where it took three hours of everybody's time to go down there and speak out for or against it. We don't have to have that vote because we won't be there. We'll already be in support of the rule of law. That's the whole point. Now, I'm not saying that the federal law should come over states' rights. Not at all. But states' rights and federal law should be together on the voting for the protection of its citizenry. And for those who are illegal and in the shadows come out of the shadows it, it, you there are so many laws in place right now to protect you and help you as long as you haven't committed a crime outside of just coming across this border illegally especially for those who were brought here when they were little you you have until a certain uh, age limit to do this and where you're just like free and clear you do just a matter of go down there and fill out paperwork it doesn't it isn't that big of a deal and if you're beyond that age limit it might take a little bit more but you can do it I, I personally spoke to members of the uh, State Department who deal with immigration. I called them up when all this big discussion was going on in the city of Tulare about whether or not they should make it a sanctuary city. And thank God I didn't even make it past a motion to even get on the table. Nobody wanted to even deal with it except for the idiot who brought it up. And I mean, he's probably out now anyway. Um, but I called to find out because in my own head, it seemed like that wouldn't be a good idea. Because you need to have a rule of law in order for there to be rules to follow. So that being said, I called them up and said, it seems to me like this wouldn't be a good idea, but you guys would know because this is your paperwork. This is what you do for a living. And the lady that I spoke with on the phone was very clear. She said, there's lots of programs available. And this is after Trump was elected. So it's not like, oh, well, Trump's elected now, so you can't do it. Bull crap. They're just trying to scare you. She said, she said, there's lots of programs available, especially if you have family members here. And she said, but there are certain time limits that you have. Now, if you're outside the time limit, there's still programs available. There's still paperwork they can do, but you have to step out of the shadows to do it. So it's all on you. You took the responsibility of getting your butt here. Now take the responsibility of getting your butt in here correctly. And then you can have a say, and then you can have a vote, and then you can be a productive member of society. But... I digress because all I'm doing is just getting off subject. The biggest subject now that I want to get back to is that 
Tulare County has taken a stand for what's right, despite the vote of my representative. All right, y'all. Have a great day. Bye.